COVID is causing WA supermarket shelves to be stripped bare, but this time it's not because of panic buying. Isolating workers in the eastern states have been sparking a supply chain crisis, but relief could be on the way. The nation's food supply chain crisis has officially reached WA. Woolworths Averley stripped of meat, bread and tinned food. Ellenbrook low on frozen goods. At Woolworths and Coles in Subiaco, milk and toilet paper are hard to come by. Oh yeah, with nappies we don't find uh, you know, the right size. At times it kind of, yeah, just not too much there. A little bit through standard toilet paper and the... Um uh, rice and spaghetti and those kind of things. As COVID soars in the eastern states, workers are being forced into isolation because they're infected or close contacts. Suppliers like farmers, abattoirs and factories struggling to get their goods to market. A lack of delivery drivers further slowing down the process of getting stock into distribution centres and from there across the country to WA shop fronts. The bulk of our challenges are in fresh produce as well as in poultry um, and in some some protein lines. WA's IGA stores still running smoothly but bracing. If one of those people aren't there, the whole thing breaks down. If there are already supply issues now, it begs the question, how bad will it get when WA reopens come February 5, with the Premier yet to announce any plans to prevent distribution setbacks? New South Wales today deeming critical food supply workers who are close contacts exempt from isolation if they have no symptoms and return a negative test. But their union says the move is fraught with danger. Close contacts are the most likely in our community to be carrying the virus. And just because they're asymptomatic, it doesn't mean they can't pass it on. Kelly Haywood, Nine News.